What's up guys? Today we are watching the season 3 finale of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode, Tommy was basically coming up with a plan to take down the pastor, and I'm sure like, not just the pastor, but like the people associated with them. And for that plan, he decided to bring Alfie back, and I was actually really excited to see Tom Hardy. But with the way that the episode ended, it kind of seemed like he wasn't going to be fully incorporated into like the other part of the plan like maybe he was just like the first part but maybe he might join the second part i'm not sure but it's like i was just really happy to see him back because i like tom hardy as an actor and maybe he's a villain in this episode like in the show but he'll help when he has to but hopefully he comes back in this episode but i just want to see how tommy's plan is going to work out so i guess let's get into the episode the Grace Shelby Institute for Orphan Children's. That made the founding of this establishment actually possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas Shelby. And Birmingham, because this is our city. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Hell yeah. I'm excited that they opened up this place. Hear that, Grace? Uh, I wish she was there to be able to see it, because I know she definitely would have loved that. It's the one that already has the stove and the crucifixion on the window. Mr. Shelby. It's the one that has the crucifixion on the window and I He heard you, bitch. You can shut up now. These keys are part of our broader arrangement. Don't step in the way of that damn picture. Old man would like you to come and eat cake and drink some tea. Why was he just staring that way? Like he was surprised. She said the tunnel was a heavy clock, slowing him down. How long? Two days before they hit the wall. Tell him to dig a sinkhole to drain the clay. He's asked if you go down and have a look yourself, Tom. Told him wild horses wouldn't get you down. Mr. Shelby, I'd just like to say that I wish I'd be too inconvenient to steal you for a moment. No, no, no inconvenience at all. Tommy, I'm sorry, he wants you. Oh, come on, Daddy. Oh. That seems like a lot is happening all at once. Thank you, Mr. Shelby. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your time, ladies. Oh, okay. thank, you. thank you. Damn. Either that was a really good fake smile, or I don't know. What is he? I don't know. Boys? You see Charlie? Hi. And so Hold on, he's playing, isn't he? Did he just hand him to a girl? Don't you dare fucking say they took his kid. Make sure where the cars are. Tommy, someone said they saw a nurse take him through the back door. Fuck. I don't know, though. My God, like, man can never catch a break. If he ends up going on a killing spree, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be mad about it, because rightfully so. Because you don't mess with this fucking kid. Tommy. It's them. Who? It's fucking them. Look, it might just be some random woman, you know, sometimes women go mad. No, it's them. Maybe the other- maybe the pastor dude got offended whenever Tommy seemed to be ignoring him. 
Is he safe? Of course he's safe. All children are dear to me. That's like why I take him in the fucking first place. Like I understand you'll have problems, but like We were forced into doing this awful thing. We did warn you that your son would be in danger if you deviated from the plan. Did he deviate from the plan? You made a deal with our enemies. I will do what needs to be done. You went behind our backs to stop the Soviets from blowing up the train. So he found out about that. It's always been about the explosion. From the beginning, the bang, the outrage. Understand? What's so, like, important about blowing up a train? To help with the outrage, we need people to die in the explosion. How many? Say... Six. Six people. We also hear that you're digging a tunnel. Mining for precious stones under wilderness hills. What else are you going to ask for? Strikes 5 a.m. on the night of the robbery, and we don't have everything that we asked for. The bell will be tolling for you, boy. This man is so aggravating. Your wife, Arthur? I'm going to tell myself that you're, uh, you're not thinking straight. Your mind's not clear. You should. I mean, his kid was just taken, man. I never told Michael about the lilies of the valley. The only people I told about the Fabergé eggs are in this room. Tommy, I want you to know that I came back for love. And common sense. So if it was one of them, who could have, who could it have been? Like it didn't seem like it would be one of them to betray him like that. This is evidence. I need you to scatter this. I'm blowing up a train. People are gonna die. I mean, he's doing what he has to do to get his kid back. Even though. It's not too good of a thing. He pursued you, sought you out. Why would an educated man of his standing do something like that? He seemed like a good dude, though, like... You mean to a woman like me? Yes. Don't be like that, Tommy. Come on. Now she's going back to drinking. Is that Alfie again? I asked you to come alone and unarmed. Yeah, well, alone I ain't never. Hell yeah, Tom Hardy. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Shelby. It's lovely doing business with you. Is that not going to be it? He's still there. Off the list, Alfie. Did I? Yeah. Hmm? What name? You've proven to me that you've done a deal with the odd fellows. It was you who told them about the tunnel. You told them about the fucking deal with the Soviets. So it was him? So it wasn't anyone else in his family? In exchange for the share. Oh, he told me there were things in that treasury, right? The God himself, he spoke to me and he said, Alfie, you were meant to have these things. You crossed the line, Alfie. My God, Alfie. Easy, my boy! Mm. 
Do you have like no remorse, Alfie? Fucking difference to me, mate. I won't be surprised if man kills you. Oh, cry that laugh. The fuck. Michael? Michael. Pilot's gonna kill you, Tommy. You got nothing to worry about when it comes to the old scary London boy. What fucking sign do you want out of a fuck right now, kid? What? It's so weird seeing Michael this aggressive. Fucking stand there. You, judging me, stand there and talk to me about crossing some fucking line. He's got a point, but I mean, that's not what we want to hear right now. Look, Tommy, the killing of Alfie Solomons is not gonna help. This will be very bad for business. So you're gonna let him stay alive? <clears throat> I did not know about you, boy, up. I know. I saw. Damn. So now y'all are having like a little truce. But you know what I just realized? He, he made he made Polly feel a certain way about the dude whenever he didn't do shit. So now I feel even more bad for Polly because she also ruined that fucking painting. Oh no, is she gonna kill him on act? Like, I don't wanna say accident, but like, he didn't do it. But now I am ready. I've been searching all night for you. Polly, whatever you've been told is not true. She looks fucking scary right now. Like, don't fuck with her type of scary. The painting was wrong. She was too sure of herself. So that's going to be your reasoning. Put it a shop. We have a life. I think so. <laughs> you see, since Arthur is going to be leaving after this thing, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Polly did too and like got out of that life, but then it's like, I feel like she's gonna try and like force Michael to go with her and Michael's not gonna want to. So you know. Oh, Vicky Blinders. Where is it? Where is he? There you go, Arthur. Feels part of me and where you hit him? I hit him in the side of the head. How was you when he went down? I'm kind of surprised that he's crying about it, but then it's like, it's good that he's showing some kind of emotion. Like, afterwards. Hello there. There you go. Who's that? Like a spoon. A shiny spoon. I mean, at least he's not hurting the kid, but still. We blow it up. There's men on board, Arthur. Yeah. Six men on board, John. And you have to blow him up anyway. I'll do the killing. So, you already killed one dude, and now you're gonna kill more. Tommy's definitely... Mm, I'm scared for him and Polly. We need more timber! Make it safe. I'll go on. Thomas is too fucking wet! It's slow! Make it fucking... 
Don't tell me it's gonna collapse on them. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What if he can't go through with it? Cause he's shaking a little bit, understandably so, but... So he wasn't gonna go through with it. But, so now Tommy's through with the tunnel. I feel like no one's gonna go help him because he did tell the other two dudes to stay in the car. You're a gypsy bastard. <laughs> It's definitely not with a gun, but... Oh, oh, no. This must is mine! Go call Finn! Oh, fuck. Is he gonna turn into basically like another Arthur and be like really aggressive about shit? So he, they weren't gonna have to blow it up last minute, but it's already too late. <sighs> Shit, it's definitely scary to be around a kid with that much blood on you. But it's like, it's so weird because it's like it, Anger took over him in the moment, but then now he's just like kind of in shock that he did it. <laughs> the look on his face. Oh my god. He's like. It's like he's numb on the inside, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you got too bad. Good boy. I know that's just what he needed to hear his voice. Isn't she pregnant though? Like, so he's leaving her while she's pregnant? It's so good to see him like a little like relieved now. And I mean, now that pastor dude is dead it's like now what oh wait does he have to pay something back to alfie or something her again but he knew well she knew that he took it from them? Oh wait, was that part of their plan? Half for the tunnel, half for the signature. Where will you go? Vienna. There's a man waiting for me. So you won't be chasing after him anymore? You just said you were going to meet a man. Hmm. 
Leave the man be. And five for helping you through the grief of losing your wife. Yeah, I was about to say, if you fucking paid that, say something again. He didn't even come close. Period. Mm, I was about to flip you off, but I wasn't. I'm sorry. I don't know why I just don't like her that much. Even though she's been like... Vi As are we, Mr. Shelby. If you're ever in Vienna, look me up. No thanks. I'm assuming Polly knows. Maybe? Like about Michael? Arthur. He warned me against getting involved in Russian business. And you were right. Hmm. Okay. So... He's apologizing for shit. Michael. For the killings. Five for the cutting, five for the shooting. No, Tommy. No. What? Oh, shit. Um, you should fucking understand that. For what? No, for what? For this? I, I just thought Polly would be more upset in the moment, or maybe she's masking it. But, like... That's all right. That's right, Paul. That's fucking right. She she just seemed like she was in a good mood. To put before the family an alternative view of the future of the Shelby Company Limited. What you got for us? Come on, Arthur. Train to the dock leaves in one hour. I thought we were about to get the plan. Damn it. Is this like really the last time he's gonna be on the show? I'll be off then. You better give that man a hug. Come on, stand up. He told me that the Chief Constable of Birmingham has issued a warrant for your arrest, murder, sedition, conspiracy to cause explosion. What? Um. So, but that was also your plan, Tommy. And Michael. I'll bring it to the cellar. You will all get your money in due course. When the police gets in, do not resist. You go with them, you do not say anything. My God, you couldn't have given us a, like, a better warning? Fuck you! Hmm. And you're just gonna watch them right off. My God. It's like, where do we even start? 
it's like I'm pissed off, but then, fuck, it is so hard to explain. So it's like, his family is now going to hate him and everything because of all that stuff. Literally, they're all going to jail for helping him with his plan to get his, like, his kid back and, like, defeat the other dude. Like, oh my god, everything was messing up. It's like, it was a good ending, but then also not. Because it, it seemed like we were, we were about to be in a good place. Like, Arthur was also about to leave. But also, now, he seems like he's going to be staying. And I'm not, like, mad about it, but it's the reason on why he has to stay. Because he's going to be in freaking jail with everyone else. The only one that is not in jail is freaking Tommy. And I just, I just feel so bad because, yeah, he gets them to do everything for him. And they do it without, well, I don't know if I want to say without hesitation, but they still do it for him. And look at him now. Everyone else is in jail and he is at home with his kid. It's just like, I swear, like I was, it was a good ending, but I was expecting something along the lines of maybe a little bit of happiness, you know, and not like all this big commotion because now everyone freaking hates him. <sighs> He's just in a bad place right now, especially after like all of that shit. But it's like now I want to see how or like maybe if people like everyone is already out of jail by the time season four starts because you know, they usually have big time jumps, but I don't know. I need, I want to see more of this shit. I need to see what's going to happen with these people. So I guess come back for season four.